Hey guys, this is Tua with Vapor Honey Technologies. Today, we are doing a lot of experiment today. So here on this table, we have aluminum, stainless steel, and carbon steel. So what we're trying to do is see the difference between dry blasting and wet blasting. So here are a sample of what we have so far. This is the part that we have completed and I have the other rest to go, basically. <laughs> I need tape. Where the hell did they put the tape? Oh. <coughs> I guess I'll use this guy. Right. Oh, almost did the wrong one. I'm not struggling. All right. Trying to wet blast these in 40 PSI with 120 aluminum oxide. Try this one off first. You guys could really see the difference on here. And this is the aluminum piece. That's the actual material. Dry, wet. How much tape do you think we're gonna go through? <laughs> uh, you want me to guess how many pieces or like how many feet? Or how many rows? Rows wouldn't be a lot, huh? <laughs> I'm guessing one roll duct tape. One roll duct tape. This one's next. Hey, I'm thinking about using the blue tape. It's probably easier to peel off. Where's that blue tape? I'll swap this with y'all. I'll swap it with you guys. So here in these buckets, we have aluminum, stainless steel, and carbon steel. I think we cut about 300 piece each. Don't hold me to it. I think I may be wrong, but yeah. Testing, testing. So far with all these sample, notice that wet blasting was a lot faster than what Cody and them were doing. It's like it's taking a lot longer for them to get the uh, dry blasting side done compared to the wet blasting. I just literally put it in there in like less than a minute, a minute, a minute and a half maybe. And 
I'm already done with the web blasting side. aluminum's right here and then stainless steel now I'm thinking about doing the let's go ahead and do the 220 aluminum oxide next so put this guy here These are starting to flash rust, the carbon steel. I just did this one like 10 minutes ago. It's starting to flash rust. That's the only downfall about carbon steel. They rust pretty easily. Well guys, this was quite hard work for some reason. It took us about two days to do this. But as you guys can see, we're, we're all done here now. Um, we got 40 PSI, 120 aluminum oxide, all the way to all the kind of, all the abrasive that we have basically. Uh, from aluminum oxide, glass bead, silicon carbide, crushed glass, uh, what else? Soda, yeah, including all those uh, abrasive we have all these samples to show you guys exactly how each part looks on each material, such as uh, aluminum, stainless steel, and carbon steel.